79? At the bottom? Yes. So when each of the bodies whose cooperation was required for the making of time had arrived in its proper orbit, and when they had been generated as living creatures, Having their bodies bound with living bonds and had learnt their appointed duties, then they kept revolving around the circuit of the other, which is transverse and, tra and passes through the circuit of the same and is dominated thereby. And part of them moved in a greater part in a smaller circle those in the smaller moving more quickly, and those in the greater more slowly. And because of the motion of the same, the stars which revolved most quickly appeared to be overtaken by those which moved most slowly, although in truth they overtook them. For because of their simultaneous progress in two opposite directions, the motion of the same which is the swiftest of all motions, twisted all their circles into spirals, and thus caused the body, which moves away from it most slowly, to appear the nearest. And in order that there might be a clear measure of the relative speeds, slow and quick, with which they traveled around their eight orbits, in that circle, which is second from the Earth, God kindled a light which now we call the sun, to the end that it might shine so far as possible throughout the whole heaven, and that all the living creatures entitled thereto might participate in number, learning it from the revolution of the same and similar. In this wise, and for these reasons, were generated night and day, which are the revolution of the one and most intelligent circuit. And month, every time that the moon, having completed her own orbit, overtakes the sun. And year, as often as the sun has completed his own orbit. Of the other stars, the revolutions have <coughs> not been discovered by men, save for a few out of the many. Wherefore, they have no names for them, nor do they compute and compare their relative measurements, so that they are not aware, as a rule, that the wanderings of these bodies, which are hard to calculate and of wondrous complexity, constitute time. Nevertheless, it is still quite possible to perceive that the complete number of time fulfills the complete year when all the eight circuits, which their relative speeds, finish together and come to a head, when measured by the revolution of the same and similarly moving. In this wise, and for these reasons, were generated all those stars which turned themselves about as they traveled through heaven, to the end that this universe might be, to this, to the end, that this universe might be as similar as possible to the perfect and intelligible living creature in respect of its imitation of the eternal nature thereof. Mm -hmm. Okay. Um, look. Um, there is a number, there is a number for anything in motion, in growth, development. Whether you're talking about the moon, the sun, or all the planets lining up, lining up. So I says, you know what? Man has a number. <clears throat> trees have a number. Different kinds of trees have different kinds of numbers. Length of time. That's its number. So. 
Now, there's something curious going on, and I'd like you to just do me a favor. Um, the whole purpose of it is that last couple of lines. In this wise, and for these reasons, were generated all those stars which turn themselves about as they travel through heaven. Why? Okay. To the end that the universe might be as similar as possible to the per perfect and intelligible living creature in respect to its imitation of the eternal nature thereof. Hey. Okay. Stay with that for a moment. What's the finest of Pardon? Uh, that's really at uh, 40, uh, just before 40. 39E. <coughs> so, 39D. Yeah, 39E would be good. Okay. Yeah, up to that too. Here in the so, have all of these revolutions of the heavens, <clears throat> right, each of the numbers that guarantees we comprehend what they are in their full unity of development, all of these. So that the entire universe might be uh, as similar as possible to the paradigm. What, another word for it? the intelligible living creature. Which he calls a god. And, in it, and to its imitation of eternal nature. <clears throat> so all nature, all nature right, is governed by periodicities. Why? Well, imitation of nature. What would happen if we could uh, follow this and we would be imitating the full development of man, then we in turn would, would we not be imitating this? So. Uh, Remember now, just a quick look at um, 90D. See, if we think of thoughts that are immortal and divine, if so, if so be that he lays hold of truth, and insofar as it's possible <coughs> for human nature to partake of immortality. 
he must fall short no degree inasmuch as he is forever tending his divine part and truly magnifying that daemon who dwells along with him he must be supremely blessed and the way of attendance of every part by every man is one namely to supply each with its own congenial food and motion and for the divine part within us the congenial motions are the intellectual and revolutions of the universe these each one of us should follow rectifying the revolutions within our head which were distorted at our birth by learning the harmonies and revolutions of the universe key key part and thereby making the part that thinks like unto the object of its thought having achieved the likeness that's the goal of life which is set before men by the gods now look and what appears to be just a discussion about heavenly planets and revolutions of the planets and his idea of time later it looks like he's saying we should understand this with two ideas right same and other that's what we have to do because the whole universe is similar to uh, to, to the perfect and intelligible living creature in res- at least in respect to its imitation of the eternal nature so therefore we, we have to we have to have to look at this idea of the complete year all of these different planets when anything finishes so it finishes its cycle and comes to a head when measured by the revolution of the same and the similar moving ah Just same and other, same and similar. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, okay. Oh, right. Right, okay. Pierre, do you think he's really serious about this, though? Sir? Do you think he's really serious about this? Because if you're starting with Mun. Yeah, bring it bring it up. If you start with Mun. No, no, no. Bring it up so we can work together. I'm, I'm not. I, I just saw something. You always see something good, huh? Uh, Miss, would you encourage him? <laughs> well, let me just ask a question first and, and see if that's sufficient. Okay. He's asking certain people to see number in a certain way. Yes. See the stars form a certain kind of subsistence, yes. which becomes a perfect animal, which becomes a, a perfect model of a copy. Right. And that seems like a different kind of meditation than, he, than he's introduced in the past. And it, and it seems like something you almost, he doesn't explain how the hell you're going to do that. Well, but he has to do it between these pages. Yeah. Or he's offering something without an explanation. Well, how important is it to see the way the number motivated stuff. Well, okay. Is that, is that going to, will that, I'm sorry. I'm <coughs> no, 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 no. What you, 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 you suggested. If I understand what you just said, of course I'm agreeing with you, which is that this is a key passage which we have to take apart. Since it's going to be, like, what is the measure of man? 
What is his unity? See, what is his unity? How can you bring man to completeness? Whatever that is and however it's done, that's going to follow the same laws and principles in nature, and nature is a copy of, and therefore it's close to the divine. Yeah, that's, that's what he's promising. And to do it, see the word soul is going to be ambiguous because he ends up with three kinds of soul, not one. Man has three, and there are different parts of the body. And each one is going to be, see, is going to revolve, and they have to come together. As the three parts of the soul, not parts of the soul, as the three kinds of souls have to come together in the same orbit, as it were, and moving in a similar way, so too the heavens are. So he has to tell us what completes man, what are the stages that complete it, and see whether we can talk about it in terms of time. Like in uh, Plato's Republic, the perfect, the perfect number. Uh, uh, like, what does he mean by number? Is it possible? Is it possible to take the idea of a just man or society? Call it just society. Therefore, a just ruler. And the other extreme, the worst possible tyrant. <coughs> is it possible? to talk about this in terms of stages and represent it by a number. He does, and the number is 729. So therefore, that's a perfect number that represents the totality of which man is capable of acting out. The worst, the best. The full cycle, this whole thing. What man is capable of being 729. The full cycle of the moon, the sun, completion. It has to take in all of its phases. Give a number to it. He's saying, hey, that's time. What's time, though? Looking at the perfection of everything in the universe, all of it is nothing other than the time necessary for each of the things to be perfect. <coughs> so that's, that's number... We say, no, it doesn't. I know what number is. He's saying, measure. Measure is essential to number. Number just taken separately from measurement is not really number for him. It's a measure, measure of each of the things that grows and develops. It goes back to the issue of function. Yeah, it's a function. Yeah, highest, highest. Highest function. Completing its destiny. Right. Yeah. Because numbers don't have a function. Our idea or his? In his idea, 729 has a function. Like right. you say, 1, 2, 3, they don't have a function no. per se. No, they're just there. Right. Okay. Yeah. Uh, Now, um, see, um, we have it here, and, but we're going to need more words to it because right now he's talking in general, but it has to fit this one phrase. When he talks about the different speeds of different planets, I'm at between D and E. See, they have to finish together and come to a head when measured by the revolution of the same and the similarly moving. Right. Ah. By the way, what did we say same was? You remember that word same? Identical. Identical. According to itself, mm -hmm. um, what's the same mean? 
I think it had that strange Greek I phrase to it. Oh. It's the same thing as being. Mm. Ah. It's the same thing as usia. Talking about noose? It's the same thing as what? Noose? Same. That, that's the word. Noose knows it. Noose, noose can knows see. all of this. Right. right. It's, the, it's the origin. The ultimate reality? It's all the same word. He uses this word. He could use this, this paradigm, same. Being, same. Remember, we went over this. And the way he's using language, you can substitute life. The only difference it makes as, as you could say, as being or same function differently in different ways so it takes on a new name so when being is used as a paradigm it's still being but as it functions in a different way, it gets on a new name. <coughs> but it's the same thing. Well, underneath it all, it's the same thing. Uh, what's a good way to show this? Uh, If I could give you a couple of pages that we can look at uh, uh, later, um, 56, especially C, D, E, so the whole idea of numerical proportions, analogies, is going to go into quite a bit of depth. Um, now, You know what? I'm going to have to play it by ear. Um, uh, don't like doing that. <coughs> Okay. Um, hmm. um, Well, yeah, look here. Let, let me just do it. <clears throat> um, yeah. 
Remember Harry? Remember the stories about Harry? Remember the one that... Uh, <clears throat> he was... He got a spray can, black spray can. And he was just doing something rather innocent, but he got in a lot of trouble. Um, he went to a movie house early in the morning, and he took the spray can, and he made a face on it. And so that night when they showed the film, uh, what do you think happened with every scene? It was a happy face. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, so this has to be what? A constant? Uh, it has to be free of all blemishes? Oh. Is that right? Screen yeah. does. Yes. Empty. Oh, pre perfectly without blemish. Mm -hmm. Otherwise, without it would blemish. be seen everywhere. Without blemish, without color without yeah. Yeah. Form. Yeah. 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 without distraction without yeah. parts say would you agree that uh, that everything you see this is especially true for people with glasses <laughs> because they see the best Right, corrected vision. Right? Yeah. Would you agree then that um, everything that you see, there's no blemish? What's a blemish? Well, I have to say, in traffic, sometimes things that other drivers appear to have a great many blemishes. <laughs> How do you define blemishes? Would you agree? There's something, there's something in the, there's something. And then each part of it can take on different colors, sizes and shapes. Okay. Yeah. And matter of fact, it can take very much like what you see in a movie. Indeed. As a matter of fact, remember Harry? He was wondering which one was real. And so he walked out and said he walked into the screen. No, I remember that. Oh, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. Because it was, it, he couldn't distinguish one from the other, so he just walked, tried to walk through the screen and they had to pick him up. <laughs> remember that? Mm-hmm. Yeah. Say, uh, what does that mean? He couldn't distinguish. That means everything that you see, if it is like a movie, is there not something, some substance Upon which behind anything, and that itself must be without blemish? Otherwise, no matter what you saw, you would see both it and the blemish, regardless of how many changes it went through? Is that correct? Fair enough. Yes. Oh, well, <laughs> what is the stuff then that underlies all things? Because if it's somewhat like the example we used in the movie, then it must be obviously without any blemish. 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 Or quality right? or characteristic. So, by the way, if that's true, then would you go further and say, well, then, this stuff this underlining stuff, is the same. Hmm. Yeah. And it gets all kinds of qualities and colors and sizes and shapes and distances between them, but it's all basically the same. So. <clears throat> like when you agree the greatest movie you've ever seen is still nothing other than a color flashed on a pure surface. Right? That's all it is. Agreed? But there has to be something upon which it is cast. Is that right? Julie? Yeah. 
And it's the same no matter what movie you go to. You want it to be just as pure in the next movie house as the last one. Mm -hmm. That's always the same, though. Pure, clean. So then what is the only thing people are saying? The screen. That's all they're saying is the screen, isn't it? Is that all they're ever saying? I mean, someone puts a little color here and there on it. And some music to fool you. Are you getting the distortion that the screen supplies? You're looking at, you're just looking at the screen, but you're also getting the benefit of the distortion that the screen supplies. And that's, that's kind of a weird crowbar kind of, kind of and, that's, that's something that's and it's always the same, isn't it? Yeah, they're always going to be the same, but there's distortion. Underlining, there must be something that's the same and pure. Is that correct? So we can call things by different names, like someone could ask you, what did you see in the last movie you went to? You could say, I'm glad you asked, color. Mm -hmm. Agree? Yeah. And that's all you saw. Yeah. You could say, illuminated color, that's all. And the edge of the... And you better not look at the edges or you're out of the movie. Yeah, true. Yeah, I did that twice. <laughs> <laughs> Look, we're using the word same, are we not? Yeah. Right. And everything is really the same, isn't it? Like in a movie, it's all the same. Underlining, it's all the same. Except for the other. Except for the color. But the color isn't there. It comes and goes. Yeah. Well, it doesn't stay there on anything. So all the qualities of any one of these things comes and goes, doesn't it? Yeah. But there's one thing that remains always there. Yeah. Now, see, what do we, we are after one word, same, aren't we? That's what the word we're playing with, same. Now, he talks about this and he says, by the way, this stuff is like gold. And therefore all of these things are just different combinations of gold. Things modeled Shaped this way, that way, colored this way, that way, but it's all basically the same. Oh. Hmm. Curious notion? Yeah. Well, uh, he goes into this in a lovely part, and uh, so could you not say, therefore, that as things change, we give it different names. Mm -hmm. But you're basically talking about nothing other than the same. 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 <clears throat> huh. Um, now, um, Okay. Um, now the elements can pass one from the other. It doesn't make any difference because underlining it's the same thing, isn't it? Mm -hmm. Ah, by heavens, by luck, I did find it. Page 50, just for a quick one. <clears throat> Number. No, uh, page 117, but it's 50A, okay. A, B. Now, before this, he has a whole talk about the word such like. Because all of these things, all of these things just appear this way, that way. They're just such like. But now he wants to go on a much more interesting level. 
see whether idea of same comes through. But we must bestir ourselves to explain this matter again, yet more clearly. Now imagine that a man were to mold all possible figures out of gold and were then to proceed without cessation to remodel each of these into each other. Then if someone were to point to one of the figures and ask what it is, by far the safest reply and point of truth would be that it's gold. But as for the triangle and all the other figures which were formed in it, one should never describe them as being, seeing that they change even while one is mentioning them. Rather, one should be content if the figure admits of even the title such like being applied to it with safety. And of the substance, right? But of the substance which receives all bodies, the same account must be given. It must be called always by the same name. For from its own proper quality, it never departs at all. For while it is always receiving all things, nowhere and in no wise does it assume any, any shape similar to any other things that enter into it. For it's laid down by nature as a molding stuff for everything, being moved and marked by the entering figures, and because of them it appears different at different times. And the figures that enter and depart are copies of those that always existed, being stamped from them in a fashion marvelous, hard to describe, uh, which we'll uh, investigate hereafter which he does later. Just a Greek point, where he says, uh, from its own proper quality, it never departs. Yes. That word quality is translated for dunamis, which means function or power. Yeah, dunamis, power, and that's good. So dangerous, right? We're getting a little dangerous, right? So the idea of same is really curious. Um, uh, here, as an aside, uh, one of the interesting things about this is that all ancient alchemical studies was focused in terms of the alchemical side towards the making of gold, both in Egypt and Greece. And would you say that this is the reason for it? The kippah? Before you but suspect or think? I, I su well, what I'm suspecting is that the, it's not just the material gold they were discussing, in terms of transforming, taking all of the minerals or uh, mineral products, and the gold was its uh, production. It was the gold was gold. That's where they were going. Okay. Um, in the West, at least in the medieval alchemy, it, you know that was the the height of where you were going is gold. Yeah. And that the constant emphasis, mm -hmm. you know, in all of the text is the same. Well, so I'm wondering if this isn't the origin of that idea. Oh. <laughs> Certainly central to it, isn't it? Yes. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And giving more reason for it than just its production in the terms of a chemical sense. Yeah, and you raised a question which is where we're going. And that is the idea of a necessity as a cause. Right. right. And, right. Uh, so, if we can get you back to where we were a moment ago. Okay.
Okay, I think I, uh, we need a reader now. The second reader, you're up. Is that everyone with you? Paige? Louder? I didn't hear her. 83? Is that between 82 and 84? That's what she asked. Check. Yes. Between 80. I love that sentence, so do it. Now, in all other respects, this world had already, with the birth of time, been wrought in the similitude of that wherein to it was being likened. But inasmuch as it did not, as yet contained generated within it, the whole range of living creatures, therein it was still distinct. So this part of the work which was still undone, he completed by molding it after the nature of the model. Okay, so now, Copy. Right. This is the model. So therefore, there has to be a copy of this. And now he's going to create classes. Okay, go ahead. According then, as reason perceives forms existing in the absolute living creature, such and so many as exist therein, did he deem that this world also should possess. And these forms are four. Oh, excuse me. Hold it for one. Should that be closer to it? No, but she should speak up. Okay. okay. One, the heavenly kind. Yeah, just do it over, okay? Just start it over. I, I liked it, so do it louder. According then, as reason perceives forms existing in the absolute living creature, such and so many as exist therein did he deem that this world also should possess. And these forms are four. One, the heavenly kind of gods. Another, the winged kind which traverses the air. Thirdly, the class which inhabits the waters. And fourthly, that which goes on foot on dry land. The form of the divine class he wrought for the most part out of fire, that this kind might be as bright as possible to behold and as fair. And likening it to the all, he made it truly spherical. And okay. he so what you're going to do? So far? Four classes. He's going to put all living creatures into classes where they reside. Right? Good. And uh, that's a classification, right? But notice what he's doing. Um, um, the form of the divine class, could you pick it up there? Mm -hmm. Top of 85. Yeah. The form of the divine class he wrought for the most part out of fire, that this kind might be as bright as possible to behold and as fair. And likening it to the all, he made it truly spherical, and he placed it in the intelligence of the supreme to follow their way, distributing it round about over all the heaven to be unto it a veritable adornment, cunningly traced over the whole. In each member of this class, he endowed with two motions, whereof the one is uniform motion in the same spot, whereby it conceives always identical 
man may attain the greatest possible perfection. From this cause, then, came into existence. Okay. We quit? All right, take a look. What do you see in the first class? You're talking about a sphere of fire? No. Sure. It's uniform right motion. As possible. It always uh, conceives the same thoughts, identical thoughts about the same. And there are key words we'd like to look for, do we not? form of the divine class, he uh, wrought for the most part out of fire, that this kind might be as bright as possible to behold and as fair or beautiful. And he placed in it, right, he placed it in the intelligent of the supreme. What? That's phrenesis, by the way. What did he do? Interesting place to go looking for it. <laughs> Pardon me? Interesting place to go looking for it. Isn't that nice? So, picture it. Come on. Picture what he's doing. He's doing something rather curious. And each, hey, each member of that class, whoever is part of it, endowed with two motions. Uniform? Whereof the one is uniform motion in the same spot, whereby it conceives always identical thoughts about the same objects. Uh, that's good old news, isn't it? Uh, what would you be doing if you were doing that? See him. Do that again, please. <laughs> I was agreeing with Lucia. Yeah. Yeah. <coughs> yeah. <coughs> Is that that funny arrow that goes around and turns upon itself? Divine light of being or something like that? Mm. And it's dominated by the revolution of the same and the song. Uh, then he talks about the other five motions later. So let's just stay with this. That's rather curious, is it? Now let's go back over it. What is he doing? I have a question, which is, uh, in the Greek, can somebody see a reason why he's saying as bright as possible rather than just brightest and most beautiful? Mm -hmm. I, that's, mm -hmm. I'm not familiar with that structure. <coughs> so. Well, it, the two adjectives he's using are actually brightest mm -hmm. and most beautiful. So that's I was right. asking if the people who know Greek can see a reason why he's saying as bright as possible. Ah. You know, because that's a, to there's my no, mind. There's no adverb there. Uh, Hopos. Well, there's, there's uh, Hopos, Omicron, Mu, Omega, Sigma, and um, T, followed by Ha, T. Omicron, Mu, Omega, Sigma, is that the letter? No, you know, as an adverb. It's not an adverb oh. of... of um, so, so let's just talk okay, for a moment. Well, yeah. I wonder whether you go along with me. Hopos, sorry. Okay, like what's going on? Yeah, please do more.
Parker, uh, is sometimes called uh, another name, or another name, Lewis. Uh, theologically speaking, what is this? God, when he creates the universe, he focuses on an idea in his mind and uses that as a model to create the universe. Right. That idea in the mind of God is called also the intelligible living creature. And another name for it is the Platonic forms, which is a bad name for it. But so look what he's saying about these curious things, right? What are the ideas in the mind of God? He said, I'll tell you. I'll tell you what they are. I'll tell you what they are. <clears throat> See, in order to make the work complete, well, You have to make it as similar as possible to the highest vision of reality. Accordingly then, as Nous perceives the forms in the absolute living creature, or in the mind of God, such as many as exist there, did he deem that this world also should possess. Hey. Not copies, but what? So there are forms here, and our world should possess them. Right? right? Mm -hmm. Yes. Well, hmm. And these forms are for one heavenly kind. Gods. Another uh, winged kind in the air. Third, that what inhabits the waters. Fourth, that which goes on foot, dry land. Do you like those four classes that are in this world? What are they again? Fire, air, Fire, water, and earth. earth. Hey, the first class in our world is a class of heavenly gods. In our world, this is our world. Yeah. For those that are familiar with nautical, that's a smoked fish. That's a species of fish that they catch called smoked fish. They're having trouble because of the output of marijuana has gone down, therefore there are fewer smoked fish. They're hard to keep the fish are smoking. <laughs> I got that in a news article. Yeah. They're harder to keep lit. Written no, by no. a Republican. No. Harry sent it to me. Yeah. Written by a Republican. <laughs> yeah, yeah. And the fourth of the kind that walk on land. <coughs> Who are they? Animals. Yes. Yeah. Cats, dogs, people, right? So what inhabit our world? Cats. Next. Dogs. Next. Oh. Fish. Next. Birds. Dogs. Birds. Yeah. Oh. Well, Is that dogs. curious? Dogs. Yeah, OK, I thought I'd mention that. OK. Um, therefore, we need to take a look at what you're saying about it. 
you know, I'm gonna catch it. in terms of putting here, so, sure. he puts those gods into motion. Yes. And in doing so, he puts them into two different motions. Thank and, you, I appreciate that. And the two different motions are so infinitesimally different from one another that it's almost impossible to say that he's made a distinction at all. And so I'd like to read that sentence and, and have you comment on it. It's, if, if that's what he's doing, if that's what he's doing, he's going to have to show how, would you agree, he's going to have to show how it relates to us. What's its function? Yeah, function. No function? Forget no. it. It's worthless. No. So, and by the way, he's going to do it. I read ahead. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I do. <laughs> Shelley, come on, let's, let's take a look at this rather. Come on. I want to know, therefore, what vision does he have of the gods on earth? May, may I read that sentence? It pertains. Here. Here. He has Here. a point he wants, a sentence he wants to Please. read. Please. Here. May I read that uh, sentence from what, what purpose the gods have on earth? The Please. question you asked. Go ahead. Uh, but he asked. Uh, let's see if we gotta get back to the two motions. Uh, what page are you on? He's in the Thomas Taylor. Yeah. Okay, I can get out. So That's okay. What page? Eighty-five. What did you say? Eighty-five. Eighty-five. Eight, between eight, 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 eight,
you see this this whole issue uh, that we're on um, he's building into it the two motions which we need to know right they revolve in in same according to the same or according to same as by doing what by always cogitating the same things in themselves about the same. Now, that is not at all difficult, so long as you know there are two levels. Okay. By the way, uh, let's do it. Okay, let's do it. What happened? Oh, gosh. <clears throat> Your question was about you could not see the difference between the two. Is that right, Dave? It no, seems very small. No, I saw the difference between the two. But the minutia with which, with which they're distinguished bothers me. And I'm beginning to see a little more clearly as a very profound guide and a very weak follower. Hmm. A thing that's self-moving and a thing, an emotion that's, that's drawn by, by the self-moving thing. So it's getting a little good. But. It's sort of like the uh, axis of a planet and its orbit. No, like the axis of a planet and Moon. Well, you know, that's, yeah, that's another thing. Could you agree? We we can talk about we can talk about what he just described using the image we used before of the movie and apply it to all things. Can we not? How do you see it? Well, um, See, we want to know what it means when he says this thing is revolving in same according to same. Agree? That's our, our goal. But he tells us by always cogitating same things in themselves about same. Say, can't we think about everything that's taking place in the movie and the way in which we're doing before? Because all you're really looking at is the same thing, are you not? Yeah, that's all you're doing, look at the same. All you're looking at is the screen. Yeah. That boring screen. Right, 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 right. Uh, so we can think about the same things in, the, in themselves. Uh, what we would put for a moment in itself rather than plural, just for the moment, okay? Can we not? We can talk about the movie. Hey, you know what? I saw a good screen last night. <laughs> oh, yeah, good. How much you pay? Oh, I paid a lot of money to see a good screen. And I saw a bunch of colors on it. Oh, good. It must have been a good movie. Oh, yeah. Now, are we not talking about the same things in itself is the screen. Mm -hmm. uh -huh. So we can make some, we can talk about the same things in themselves, about the same, can we not? Like the figures in the movie, they may be many, might they not, but they're all the same, are they not? And behind it, there's only one thing that's always the same, isn't it? What, I'm, what am I doing? I'm giving practice on an image, right? Only I need to do one thing, change themselves to itself for the moment. 
So now we have to see right, what happens when we're not talking about this, but the nature of reality. Well, um, let me just check. Uh, say, Martin, is it likely that if someone has a uh, perception of the nature of reality, it's the same? Yes. Oh, no matter, even if it's seen in Brooklyn? Yes, even in Brooklyn. Oh. And, by the way, is it just a blank, nothing in it, or nothing to it? No. Oh, oh. Is some some kind of is it dull dull dumb no. stupid okay you try it what uh, it's complete full complete oh uh, dynamic or static quite dynamic oh quite dynamic right dynamic huh always the same yet there's a dynamic to it all there is and it probably therefore is boring no very exciting probably oh oh. But it's always the same? It is. Even though you might go, you might penetrate it more deeply, it's always the same? Yeah. Does it go through changes the way these things go through changes? Yeah. In the sense that there's something real there? Yes. Ah, but in terms of the flitting shadows, nothing like it here. What are we doing? We're talking about it, talking about the nature of reality. We're saying if it's dynamic, that means there are certain kinds of things that, that change without changing their substance. Right? We're talking about the same. By the way, is not the same the word being? Who say it? Paradigm? <coughs> ultimate reality? Say, by the way, that vision of reality, uh, could you, someone say that could be a paradigm for the universe? That'd be weird, wouldn't it? Yeah, but if so, it would be interesting, wouldn't it? Yeah. yeah. Mm. Well, he's saying this pure being or reality in our world generates gods that are dynamic in motion. And you know what? We, gotta, we can talk about it, can't we? Right, well, is that what we're doing? Does this book provide us a way of doing what he's saying it's necessary to do? Mm -hmm. Yes. Then we're doing it. But we need more information, don't we? And that's the rest of the book. That's where he's going. Look, so, um, um, so this is uh, cunningly, whatever that word means in Greek, traced over the whole. And therefore, every member of this class, all the gods, right, where the one, it's uniform. Right, uniform motion in the same spot whereby it conceives always identical thoughts about the same objects, which of course is nous, dia nous or dia noumenon. And isn't that important to maintain the function and the sameness of the gods? Because it's now bringing it down into our world. Yes, but I'm saying that the gods must have the sameness and the what was the phrase? The same thoughts. Or also, remember, this word means being able to see into this and then whatever kinds of, whatever you perceive in this, <clears throat> that's what he's calling ideas. Or whatever you can grasp or distinguish in this, when you say dynamic, that's looking at the same things in itself, about the same. But he's saying there's only four, right? Mm -hmm. More. Well, it was just 
he's saying there's only four ideas in there. So I thought what we'd do, uh, since we took a lot of time on this, we go back to it next week. Huh? Because there's something more you can say about it. Fantastic. Bill. And, uh, uh, I'm running out of steam. I sat in a dentist chair for a couple of hours today. Yeah. And, uh, it's time for me to go home and get a beer. I mean, excuse me. Uh, uh, Sedative. Uh, 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 tea. Tea. <laughs> beer, question. When you say that the, the gods have essentially, what I'm understanding is he's saying that the gods have one of two natures. <gasps> Thank you, sir. Either of us.